I'm Sarah Hashimaris in the Los Angeles Times newsroom. The latest numbers of inmates on hunger strike are in. California officials said more than 12,400 inmates are participating in the mass strike for at least the past three days. 1,300 inmates have refused to attend classes or go to their prison job since Thursday. Corrections Department spokeswoman Deborah Hoffman is careful not to name which prisons are involved in the strike for fear that inmates not participating could be put in extreme danger. The Corrections Department released a written statement that said it's against state law for inmates inmates to participate in a mass disturbance and protesters would be disciplined. One possible punishment being moved into isolation, the very thing the inmates are protesting. The strike began earlier this week to protest indefinite isolation policies for inmates suspected of having prison gang affiliations. They want such isolation sentences to be capped at five years. The Times reports the organizers of the protest are a small group of inmates held in isolation units at Pelican Bay State Prison near the Oregon border. Reports indicate these prisoners are restricted to their cells for 22 and a half hours each day. Additional demands include education, rehabilitation programs, and the right to make phone calls. For more on this story and other headlines, visit LATimes.com. And for the latest Twitter updates, be sure to check out at LATimes.